Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Sin, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be having a look at the Quantum Network Bridge, or Quantum Ring, or whatever you want to call it from Applied Energy 6 2. It's a multi block structure that allows you to connect sort of to potentially distant parts of your ME network together. It is all the same network, so you can only have one controller in that network. And it is quite easy once you understand the basic principles, um, but it can be a bit costly depending on how a mod pack modifies um, some of the items you need to get. Some of the uh, some of the items, namely the singularity, which we'll get into in a moment. So first, to start off, we need to make the multi-block structure, and that's a, a three by three ring of these quantum rings. They can be horizontal or vertical, um, and in the center, you need a quantum link chamber. And there we go. So that's now connected that up to make the multi-block. You can see that all the lights around it, these blue ones, are quite dull, and in the center here, we're missing an item. Now, that item there is a quantum entangled singularity, and to get that, we use a regular singularity from Applied Energy 6.2 and an Ender Dust, and we need to put that through or combine that with an explosion. And to do that, we can use TNT, and this will create a, we'll create two, sorry, quantum entangled singularities from the one singularity that we used. We can also use things like a Creeper Trophy here. And do the same thing. So now we have two sets of singularities. So these two are paired. We can't swap and change them. We can put them back together like we have here. So that's great. Um, to make it easier to find out or to know which ones belong to each other, you can put them in a anvil and name them. So I'm going to say this is a QES and it's going to be on our red line. Now we have a quantum entangled singularity and it's red. I'm just going to delete those ones because I no longer need them. Now I can put a quantum entangled singularity in here, but I also need a reciprocal one. So I have an ugly line of dense cable here, and you know what? I don't want to use that anymore. I want to go over here and I want to replace this with another ring. So I'm just going to get rid of this one so it's a bit easier to look at. And we're going to place another ring here. This time I'm going to go for a vertical um, ring, and as you can see, it has connected. An important thing about this these rings as well as when you connect them, the power and the, and the channels can only be transferred through the inner ring. So these corner ones, they actually don't work. So they're just there to make up the multi-structure, but if you're ever transferring power or you're ever transferring channels, you need to come out of these faces. Uh, it could be the sides, the bottoms, but it just has to be those middle ones there. Now, if I put my quantum entangled singularity in here, you can see this actually isn't powered, so we're going to need to power this as well. So I'm going to chuck a energy acceptor here and a created power cell, and this created power cell is going to give us heaps of power, but this still hasn't turned on. It's because the passive drain of the quantum ring here is actually quite high, so if we also chuck a dense energy cell here, we can see that this is now operational. And you can see that so this quantum ring is operational because it has these new white particles in the center, so it's showing that it's sort of digitizing and transferring that matter across this quantum network bridge. The one thing we haven't done yet is we haven't actually connected this up, so I'm going to connect this up to our ME controller. And if we go over here now, we'll be able to look that we now have all these channels, these channels are flowing through we come back over here we can see that yes so all the channels are now hooked up and working so the quantum network bridges are, are fairly easy to use and they're quite simple to set up once you know the, the basic principles of them um, if you were to use another so if you wanted to have another connection um, namely let's say instead of going to this wall we actually wanted to go to this wall we would need to set up a whole nother dual set of quantum bridges so that way we could you know maybe put one on this wall and then go over to that wall using the same process um, but you would also need to make another of those quantum entangled singularities because you can't use the same ones between different portals different sets of portals that is um, yeah so that's it on the quantum network bridge if you have liked this video please hit the like button if you want to see more like this feel free to subscribe but as always have a good day sin out